Did you know? I mean, and I know some of you already know this, but did you know that right here in the Northeast, uh, we, there are more people are, that are considered post-Christian? Now, I, let, me, let me define what post-Christian is. Uh, it means that someone disagrees th- that the Bible is accurate. They may have a respect for the Bible, but they, I mean, they don't believe that it's uh, trustworthy and inspired by God. Two, it, 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 they don't read the Bible regularly. Right? Uh, three, they, they disagree that faith in God should influence all aspects of their life. Uh, four, uh, they don't attend a Christian church. All right? Five, they've never made a commitment to Jesus. And six, they, they don't regularly pray to God. It, it, it's not a, a lifestyle, all right? You probably know people. Maybe you live with them. Maybe you live near them. Maybe you work with them. Maybe they're your children. Maybe they're, they're your, uh, your grandchildren. They're, they're close friends that would fit into many or some of those categories, post-Christian. And, and, and this came out three years ago. Uh, um, you might not see this, but it's a map of the U.S., and it lists the top ten cities right, that are post-Christian, right, by those definitions that I just gave you that were produced by the Barna group. And the top eight, all right, the top eight, all are in the Northeast. So everywhere in America, there's communities and people that need Jesus. But, but here in the Northeast, there's a, there's a higher percentage, a higher concentration uh, of people that don't read the Bible regularly, pray regularly, attend church, that, that don't believe the Bible is inspired and trustworthy by God. 